Folks in the house, coming to you on a Friday and going to be a hot weekend, everybody. So uh, be careful. Uh, don't overdo it. Keep uh, drinking uh, water. Uh, H2O is going to be a good thing this weekend, everybody. Um, had the folks over. Uh, for, basically, I was like, yeah, probably not going to be doing much with you guys uh, over the weekend. Just gonna be just too hot to be doing stuff so I had him over tonight and did uh one of the movies that we wa I reviewed a while ago called Uncle Nino um, so it's a good family movie um, parents enjoyed it so um, again it's one of the movies that I've talked about in the past so I'll recommend it uh, if you're looking for something for a family uh, decent movie and all right I will have some other movie talk uh, Again, heat's going to be the main story this weekend, it sounds. So, again, stay safe, everybody, and try not to overdo it if you can. Um, thanks to all my viewers and uh, my subscribers. I appreciate it. Um, I guess not all my viewers. I guess the few viewers I have, I appreciate you guys watching and taking the time. So, thank you very much uh, for doing that. Uh, makes my day kind of get a kick out of, you know, that... If anything, people get a kick. It's like, what the hell is he doing? And that's what I say all the time. What the hell am I doing? Uh, kind of want to go on the COVID-19 uh, on a little, I don't know, bizarre scenario, I guess. Start off with, I'm going to see if this is going to work. But uh, first is uh, the news that Russia's spying on trying to get the COVID-19, whatever they're trying to get, who the heck knows. But uh, wouldn't it be at this time that everybody should be in a room trying to figure this out, all parties? Um, am I missing something here? Um, it's called the United Nations for a reason that, you, you, you know, you, you try to help. <laughs> and this is the time that uh, the world needs help, people. So uh, if you have some smart people and they're in different countries, yeah, they can work together. It's called interpreters, if anything. Um, so so I, I don't get why the media isn't covering this a little bit. It's like, yeah, it's great that you're spying, but come aboard and figure this out. Um, I know it's all about the dollar, uh, but yeah, yeah, people dying all over the world, not just in certain sections. It's, it's across the board, people, so... Um, this is, you know, like I, like I say, the United Nations uh, should uh, be um, getting everybody aboard. Let's, hey, let's get in this think tank room and figure some stuff out. almost want to say the other word, but I'm good. Uh, and then you're like, why are you talking about the United, uh, United Nations? Well, this is what, if... I'm going to try to do this. It's kind of hard to do it with only one person, but I think this would be a perfect time to, for Abbott and Costello to redo their who's on first, but with the World Health Organization. You'd basically have, hey, Abbott, uh, who's, uh, what's the name of the organization that's uh, helping with the COVID? You mean who? Yeah, that's who I'm asking. Uh, what's the organization? Uh, who? Yeah, that's what I'm asking is. Who's the uh, organization that's trying to treat this? Who's treating the organization? Is the organization that's the World Health Organization? Oh, who? Yeah, who is the organization? The World Health, yeah, who? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Who's the health organization? Who? So, yeah, I would think it would be perfect. And if somebody would do it, good job for them. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just, these are the times, people, you know. But I think it would be a great remake to do the uh, health organization uh, with who. And so, movie talk. <laughs> Yeah, let's just get into James. Go to movie talk. You know that's enough of that. Uh, so I have a couple streaming movies, and then um, 
Civil War movies. Some kind of went Western, and then it ended up being Civil War movies. Uh, but my streaming movies, starting off with an uh, English movie called Berlin Job. Uh, so two uh, gangsters, uh, hoodlums, kind of screw up a, a cocaine deal, and they end up trying to plan a heist to recover their losses. Um, it's a decent movie. It uh, holds its own and good storyline, so worth watching. Uh, next movie, uh, Misfire, um, a DEA agent, his ex-wife gets kidnapped and he has to go down and deal with drug cartel in Mexico. Um, there's some good uh, action scenes in the movie. Uh, it got a real low rating. Um, I think it's watchable. Uh, it is at that cusp of being a thumbs down movie, but I think it, it gets, for me, it gets by. Uh, so that doesn't... And, uh, sorry, Berlin Job, Charles Dance and Craig Fairbrass are in that movie um, for Misfire. And Berlin Job was 2012. Misfire, 2014, Gary Daniels and Vanessa Vasquez uh, is in this movie. Again, it's one of those movies that's close to being thumbs down, but, again, it, it's watchable. Then my next movie, uh, I... Didn't really know about this movie, 2015 Solace with Anthony Hopkins and Abby Cornish. Uh, Anthony Hopkins plays a psychic and it's a good mind movie. Um, again, it surprised me. Um, I was trying to remember, it came out in Christmas the way I read and this movie, I, it, there's something that Christmas, there's some movies that get released and it's like, why don't you wait until, I don't know. I, it's something that it's like, this is really not so much. I don't know. I think they're just trying to change things up, I guess. But this movie would have been kind of like, I think October uh, would have been a good time for it. But uh, yeah, it's just not so much. Um... Then my westerns or Civil War movies uh, started with a classic, uh, Four Soldiers with John Wayne and William Holden. Uh, if you're looking for a good western movie, it's worth it. Uh, basically, northern soldiers go behind uh, southern lines to wreak havoc and break the uh, supply chain is what their goal is. Um, Good cat and mouse movie. Like I say, good if you're looking for a good western, it's worth it. Next, I have uh, the movies for Gods in General and then Gettysburg. Um, if you're looking to just watch on the Civil War, uh, both movies are good. They are long, um, but uh, it's worth watching these in, if you can do it in a week's time. Uh, it's good. Uh, basically, gods and generals. I th I lean towards the movie. The movies are a little more on covering the South, uh, which is fine. Um, but uh, kind of interesting is uh, in gods and general. Uh, Robert Duvall played Robert E. Lee, and then in Gettysburg, Martin Sheen played the role. Um, I, I really did not look on why that occurred, but uh, it's an interesting one. But I do have, if anybody's watching as far into this movie, I uh, in this video, the actor that played two different roles. He played one character in Gods in General, and he played another character in Gettysburg. And see if, uh, if anybody's listening or wants to throw out a comment on that, appreciate it. Um, fun little trivia, I guess I should have done the same uh, thing for the, uh, Robert E. Lee on uh, who played his role. But uh, again, if you're looking for a uh, Civil War, uh, war movie kind of thing, uh, both of them are decent uh, movies. Um, Tom Berenger, uh, oh God, there's all, there's all kinds of actors in these movies. Jeff Daniels is in it. 
Um, but yeah, again, it's an enjoyable movie to watch. Sam Elliott's in one of them. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie to watch and movies. Uh, like I say, the I guess the bottom one is Misfire for these. Uh, Solace is a popular movie, but didn't really know about it. So if you're like one of those crime uh, movies, uh, that movie's worth it. So uh, that's about it, wrapping it up. Um, I decided to do this now because I don't think I'm going to be doing anything over the weekend. I'm going to be kind of shut down, I think. Uh, I, you know, you're going to end up doing some stuff. But uh, again, going to try to figure out that uh, World Health Organization, you know, uh, who. Yeah, you know, the World Health Organization, who. So that's that. And then again, Russia, get to the table, help figure the shit out. And I did say it, so, um, yeah, you know what, uh, social media or m news media, yeah, you, you could throw out an editorial yourself. I mean, for folks in the house to have the best editorial in regards to this, it's scary. So, and that's, that is folks in the house for a Friday. <laughs>